हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज प्रोग्रामिंग टेक्निक फॉर ट्यूरिंग मशीन नाउ वी वांट टू शो दैट हाउ अ ट्यूरिंग मशीन कैन बी यूज्ड टू कंप्यूट इन अ मैनर लाइक अ कन्वेंशनल कंप्यूटर सो अ ट्यूरिंग मशीन इज एग्जैक्टली एज पावरफुल एज अ कन्वेंशनल कंप्यूटर इज द ट्यूरिंग मशीन कैन परफॉर्म सॉर्ट ऑफ कैलकुलेशन ऑन अदर ट्यूरिंग मशीन so there are various techniques or you can say there are various programming techniques for turing machine so we will discuss one by one so the first technique is called storage in a state in this in this technique the finite control can be used not only to represent the position in the program of a turing machine but to hold a finite amount of data how suppose if we show like this in which we have a state q and we have also a storage space for containing or for storing these three element like a b c so the finite control con uh, consisting of not only a state control state q but also the three data elements a b and c so regarding state this way allow us to describe the transition in a more systematic way often making a strategy behind the turing machine program more transparent but this type but this type of technique is uh, you can say just a conceptual arrangement it's a conceptual arrangement and to explain it with the help of an example so if we have to construct that example is if we have to construct a turing machine m okay for a input symbol a and b which will convert lower case letter lower case letter to upper case okay so in this type of problem we can use this type of technique to for constructing a turing machine okay so this is a first technique now the another technique is multiple track as the name suggests that in the tape of a turing machine is composed of several track track so instead of having one track in this type of technique we have several several track like we have this is track 1 this is track 2 or we can take one more track that is track 3 so in this this is a tape and we have a finite control also and suppose there are the symbols like x y and z and the this is the head tape so in the multiple track each track can take one symbol or one symbol and the tape alphabet of the turing machine consists of tuples with one component for each track okay similarly uh, the technique of storage in the finite control using a multiple track is not extended what turing machine can do it is simple a way to see that tape symbol and to imagine that uh they have a useful structure so in, this is all about multiple track in which we take instead of one track we are consisting three track and each track contain a one symbol okay next next is next strategy is checking of symbol so uh in this it is a very useful method okay and it is useful trick for visualizing how a turing machine recognize language which are defined by the repeated trick so we already uh, do various example uh, like suppose if we have a language like w w where w is belong to is asterisk epsilon asterisk okay or we can say w c y where c is the middle element of in between of w and c and w and y is 
contain in this or w is not equal to y or another example we can say that w w to power r reverse of r that is palindrome so in which w is in this it contain in this element okay so this type of uh, language in which we are defining of the repeated string so in this we uh, take the strategy called dating box symbol or it also useful uh dating box symbol is also useful when the length of the substring must be compared such as if we have a language for a to the power i b to the power i where i is greater than or equal to 1 so in this i have to compare the number of a is equal to number of b so this in this type of language we can use a strategy or technique called check of checking of symbol or one more example is if a language is in a to the power i b to the power i and c to the power k where i is not equal to j or j is not equal to k so in this also this type of language the length of the substring must be compared so in this type of example or this type of language we can uh take the uh, technique called checking of the symbols next technique is subroutines okay so in the subroutine the uh, the turing machine subroutine is a uh, is a set of state that perform some useful process like the set of state include a start state and another state that has no move temporarily and that serve as a return state to pass control to whatever other set of state called the subroutine suppose uh or we can say that uh, in the high level language uh, we use of subroutine the in the case of modularity in the program development process and the same type of concept can be introduced in the construction of turing machine with the help of this subroutine so for uh, in case of example we will explain by a subroutine suppose if we have to construct a turing machine uh, for subroutine for subroutine where function a comma b is equal to a star b where a and b are unity number are unity number so in this type of problem we can uh, or you can say this type of problem can be uh, solved by subroutine technique so these are some various technique which are used for the turing machine okay so the first uh, first uh, uh, technique is called storage in a state okay the next one is multiple track third is taking of symbol and the last one is subroutine so these are some four programming technique which are used for the turing machine solving turing machine problem still if you have any problem then you can ask in our comment section or send your query to our business email id that is i technical learning at the at the rate gmail.com so keep watching our video thank you so much